let's get back to the news. We've got a few things going on here. The House Republicans had a group hug. We had a retreat a couple weeks ago. And, in fact, uh, I didn't know at the time they were in retreat, but on the way back from it, one of uh, the legislators who I've gotten to know gave me a call, and he identified himself as a rhino. But <clears throat> he gave me certain assurances. He didn't really reveal anything confidential, but I could tell there was a different tone. He didn't really want to announce anything, but he said uh, he thinks this will be a good session. It'll probably build some unity. And I read some more on it. Well, it comes uh, come to find out, we had some uh, really unique things happen. We had uh, a speaker and majority leader who put back a party, and especially a caucus, that was so deeply splintered, especially after the primaries and runoff elections. And they decided, you know what, we've been a little bit laxed and let things get out of hand. We let divisions fester. We look the other way. They're not going to do it anymore. They're expecting the Republican caucus members in the House that if you got a Republican colleague in office, you don't campaign for his opponents, period. Not for a Democrat, not for a fellow Republican. You stay out of it. Why? Because it makes it really hard to sit next to each other in caucus when you're trying to basically run the other guy out. And there's a lot of bitterness. Now, yes, this goes both ways. This also means if you're a platform caucus member and you don't like that rhino, they're saying, all you, just stay out of somebody else's race. All right? And uh, two members of the platform caucus survived uh, attempts to uh, unseat them in the primary. Two fine men. Platform uh, co-chair, Sean Roberts. Sean has been given chairmanship of a very important uh, committee. He is uh, the chairman of public health. He is being elevated to that role uh, this year. I'm just checking my time here. So, uh, and then Tom Gann, fine man. Both these men are excellent. And you know, if you don't get along with Sean or Tom Gann, it's probably you. That's how fine men they are. But uh, Tom Gann is being put in charge of uh, a government oversight committee. His committee will probably be tapped to look at the results of these performance audits that are coming out here in the next week or two. Uh, both in Sean Roberts and the public health will be definitely taking a look at the medical marijuana laws that we passed, we the people passed, and try to find ways to make them work so sick people get well, quality of life is improved for people suffering chronic diseases and disorders, and yet community concerns for child exploitation public safety, safe roads, safe workplaces, all of these things get handled in a balanced way. Sean Roberts is a man I have full confidence in. His wisdom, his discretion, and uh, his honesty. So, and I think you're going to see the same with Tom Gann over there in the uh, general government uh, agency oversight role. So, uh, I think it's Administrative Rules is actually the name of the committee that, that, that uh, Tom Gann is going to be overseeing. So look for that to happen, and I uh, want to commend John Eccles and Charles McCall for bringing back together, in large part, a very fractured Republican House caucus. Now, you know, we'll see, okay? We've had these kumbaya moments before. And, yeah, it looks a lot like, uh, on the surface, you think it's just like these rugby players in the picture. Look like they're having a group hug, and they're really uh, fighting each other with everything they got because they all want to get away with the ball and run with it. And uh, let's see if we can't get the Republicans united once again. I'm congratulating for that.